My name is Sean Carrasso. I run a campaign for peace in Congo called Falling Whistles. I had just sort of just stumbled into this military encampment that was beating former child soldiers, was treating them like enemies of the state. And one of the things those boys told us is that the kids who were too small to carry a gun, they had been sent to the front lines of war armed with only a whistle. They'd been sent out as human shields. We ended up exposing the encampment to the UN, kids got pulled out, it was a pretty heavy day, and I went home that night and wrote a little blog called Falling Whistles. Sent it out to a handful of friends and family, and they just forwarded it around the world. Woke up the next day to hundreds and then thousands of emails saying, what do we do, how do we help, why is this happening? So we asked people to be a whistleblower for peace. We sell this whistle, and we use the money to partner with local visionaries inside Congo, rehabilitating women and children, and then building a coalition of people to see the war ended. We were in the White House a couple weeks ago, and what they wanted to know is, do the American people really care about this? And so it's our job to prove to them that they do. And so that's why we are reinventing the petition. And instead of it just being a signature that can get emailed to the president or you know, mailed on like a page, we want it to be the faces of people who really care about this. The biggest thing is that you're able to take somebody's photo and put their face behind history, behind Peace in Congo. And from your phone, you're able to send it so that it will be faxed directly to the White House. And you can do it over and over and over and over again. That's the singular use of the app. Just go out and get the faces of the world who want peace and fax it directly to the White House, one by one by one. Because in the end, and I think this might be the most important point, I think there are far more people in the world who want peace than those who want war. But those who want peace have never been able to be organized, connected, and know one another in order to make their actions strategic. And we're beginning that era now.